ready, let's go. Make me a soap star. You're going up the escalator? I'm going to be dating her in 10 years. Ivanka, what's the favorite thing you have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate. I don't think so. I don't think so. If Ivanka were my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. Grab by the pussy. By the way, your daughter, she is a piece of ass. Don't ask, don't talk to me that way. You're just a, you're just a lightweight. Don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to, I'm the president of the United States. Don't ever talk to the president that way. Nobody respects women more than Donald Trump. He's actually always been very voluptuous. She's tall, she's almost six feet tall. Well, I actually think she's a hopeless case. I call her Pocahontas, and that's an insult to Pocahontas. I wound her like a bitch. I will use some jet packs just in case I start kissing her. Grab by the pussy. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them with a magnet. They don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab by the pussy. You are a rude, terrible person. Maybe the carnival's gone. We're going to build a wall. Racism is evil. And those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. Grab by the pussy. We're going to build a wall. I want to make it clear today that my administration will focus on ending the absolutely horrific practice of human trafficking and I am prepared to bring the full force and weight of our government to the federal and at the federal level and the other highest levels that we can do. I don't know what to do, uh, but that's, uh, that's a tough story. It's a very tough story. I don't know. No. Because you've been in jail. I don't know. I haven't really been following it too much. I just wish her well, frankly. Uh, I've met her numerous times over the years, especially since I lived in Palm Beach, and I guess they lived in Palm Beach. Uh, but I wish her well, whatever it is. Uh, I don't know the situation with Prince Andrew. Just don't know. Not aware of it. Because you'd be in jail. Vaccine, but I certainly would have deposited it. And look, I guess in a certain way I'm the father of the vaccine because I was the one that pushed it. I pushed the FDA like they have never been pushed before, and that's why we have it. Uh, when they did the pause on Johnson & Johnson, I thought that was a, a very, very stupid thing to do. And then we developed a vaccine, three vaccines in three months, in nine months, and it's great. And you know what? I believe totally in your freedoms. I do believe you gotta do what you have to do. But I recommend taking the vaccines. I did it. It's good to take the vaccines. But you got, no, that's okay, that's all right. You got your freedoms, but I happen to take the vaccine. If it doesn't work, you'll be the first to know, okay? But it is working. But uh, you do have your freedoms. You have to keep, you have to maintain that. You have to maintain that. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. That I've always been a no good, rotten, disgusting scoundrel. Disgusting!